Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Zero Fox Drop video. So if you're new around here, I predominantly make piss take content. My name is Zero. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning OG, uh, your shout out will be in just a second. Uh, thank you very much to all the guys that support me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Zero Fox I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, as some of you know that have been here for a while, I'm deploying soon uh, as a PMC uh, overseas in about 17 days. Um, make sure you stick around, I'm going to be vlogging every single day. Um, obviously whilst I'm away there will be a quiet period, uh, but when I get back you'll have 10 weeks of, of vlogs of me uh, in a conflict zone. I'm hoping that the channel uh, changes direction and just moves away from just British Army content and into more interesting and bigger things, uh, so make sure you stick around. But firstly is the Patreon shout out. So firstly for the Patreon shout out we've got Connor, Ryan Fay, Pete Lone Wolf. So you are my uh, free patron shout outs thank you very much i appreciate uh, all three of you and everyone that does support me on patreon and my comment section shout out for my secret code is sabina sb lee the tickle dan gray mma archie cooling glenn scott angelo bc andrew williamson word herb and i love quavers i do love quavers thank you very much guys uh so getting on with today's video so um the army has changed its recruitment drive in many different ways over the years when I joined, it was be the best. British Army, be the best. You wanted to be part of the elite, be the best army in the world. Uh, and you were frequently reminded in basic training, you are getting the best training package in the world. Um, I fucking sound like fucking Jeremy Clarkson then. Best training package in the world. Um, this is true, it's true. We are one of the best armies in the world, one of the most professional. Um, and obviously recently it's gone to, you know, all the fucking snowflakes and shit. As you've probably seen me do on my channel before, and now they're trying to recruit gamers um it can go one of two ways so uh we'll, re we'll react to the army gaming side first and then we'll hit uh something that cropped up kind of before this but this is the sort of soldiers we're going to be getting in the british army army be the best see that's what it should be army be the best right okay where are they Hi, I'm Sergeant Wellington, I'm here from 63 Works Group, Royal Engineers. The Army's here today to engage with the general public and to challenge some of the gamers. All right, new Vertus kit. Um, the, some of the sick, Garzman. Uh, here we've got the VR area, um, so we can put on headsets, we can walk around, and again, we're challenging gamers into beat the Army at the VR. Uh, so behind me, we've got... Um, this has got to be the most Gucci fucking posting ever, especially if you're into gaming. Like most of these lads probably had a, I don't know, a gaming group or a gaming session or whatever into games. And they went, you know what would be a good idea? Yeah, for these recruiting gamers and millennials, we do a, a gaming workshop thing. Like when I was a kid, you used to have fucking stands with like machine guns and rifles and tanks and shit parked around the place. And now it's this. I don't know, times change. Uh, I don't want to be a dinosaur, but. You can play games at home. Most people were probably coming to you to just play games and play on VR and stuff. Like, uh, what's the, what's the point of showing in VR when you can show them the real steel shit they're going to be doing? I, I don't know. I, if you're a veteran, if you're older, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. Game set up so civilians can come in and play serving soldiers at some of the games. Just over there, we've got a climbing wall. Civilians can come in, have a go and get up and down the climbing wall, and then. Well, well, well. If civilians want to come in and play serving soldiers. Most squaddies play video games anyway. What? What's the appeal of playing against a squaddy? Oh. There, we now have a panther. Yeah, that's better. Like rock, rock uh, climbing. We open that up and we've got some uh, guardsmen showing you around that how that works. Yep. So we've got another insomnia event which is happening in August. Which again. Is okay. Cool. So we've still got some of the basic stuff. August. Should I go? Because I'm I'm right by Birmingham. Uh, should I go in? Getting the should I go see him at Birmingham? How, pop how popular the stand's been uh, is because everyone wants it. to play fucking video games this day and age, and you're given free video games. Shot. Like I want to know: Are these personal rigs, or are they playing on gaming computers paid for by the army? Times have changed. That's right. Um, obviously, I'm not in the army anymore. I've been out for like 18 months now. Um, that's changed a lot. I don't know how I feel about like the whole gaming thing. If it works, it works, and it is the new audience, and it's all changed. And I don't want to seem like um, oh, back in my day, one of them. Cuts. But you know, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about. Come play video games. Like, are you actually getting people that are? Because most of them look like kids. Are you getting people that actually want to play video games, or are you actually getting people that want to join the army? Eh. 
70-30 I reckon, 70% people just want to play video games, 30% people just want to look at army stuff. Kids these days don't want to, don't want to, I don't know. If they had Fortnite on the, on the stream, not the stream, if they had Fortnite on the computers that they were playing on, I'd have f***ing blown my top. Uh, <laughs> for f sake. The problem with recruiting like this is you're probably going to get this sort of crowd joining that um, there might be Wicked Ace on a, <laughs> on a video game, but they're pretty shit in real life. This is, um, let's just show you. Obviously, Unilad, Unilad put this up. If you want to see the original, go to Unilad. Unilad, please don't copyright strike me. Uh, I love your content. Um, just give me a heads up if you're going to copyright strike me. Thank you. Big gamer. Recruit right. Bama I love sniping. It's my favourite thing to do. There's nothing better than just getting in the corner of a room, letting people come through. Pow, one in the nuts. Pow, one in the knee. You know, based on that evaluation, I'm probably a sound and stable guy that can be given a gun. I'm just going to... Can I do oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. that? Never barrel down. down. Never barrel down. Never barrel down. Yeah, but then if you do this, this isn't good either. I'm just it's a conversation. Kind of These lads probably want to fucking <laughs> drop this curly headed here. fuck. What Jesus are my Christ. Of making it through the course today. As long as you're physically and mentally robust, I don't think you're having any problems whatsoever. We're going to hand you over to Sniper 3 and Sniper 4, who are going to take you through camouflage and concealment. What we want to present to you is a ghillie suit. <gasps> So we'll put the jacket on first. Sniper 3. Nice to meet you, Sniper 3. I'm not going to lie to you guys, yeah. Between like the ages of 5 to 10, I was a hide and seek champion. All right, lads. Uh, See you later. We'll start with your face first. Like how we look, all right? So you're always going to start off with green. And I want it everywhere. Make it random, all right? No, no, no yeah. death patterns. Yeah. Rambo. Random, yeah. Get it all over. I like probably not this as poor lad. This is offensive is to, to people I uh, relate to. Like, rub it in then, you put more on, like, so start rubbing it in now and get it on your idiot. neck. You'd be intimidated if you saw this. And you can hear how professional he's trying to be in this fucking guy. Right, look at him. Take the natural surrounding Looking like Shrek. Gilly, right. Look, I'm committed, yeah? This, this is what it takes to be a sniper. If I get nits, I'm suing. I could just imagine him in basic training, like, if I get nits, I'm suing. You fucking... Ugh! Alright, here we go. They've got me all camoed up, had a look. You're getting there, you're pretty decent. We're uh, finding Sniper 2, is that the aim of the game? That is the aim of the game, he's out there somewhere. I never liked him, you know, he was, it's, it's that way he was hanging <laughs> over us. He, I knew he was going to turn. That's it, yeah. We want to get in, take a shot. This guy sounds like uh, and then get Dynamo. Out without being seen. <laughs> this, is this a bolt action? Guardsman, it is a bolt action, Woo! yes. Best guess, he is about 250 metres away. It all depends how fast Bam can crawl, really. Where's the building? I'm just going to take the shot, man. You can't see them. <sighs> but I ain't never seen Arnold Schwarzenegger crawl on his, like a dog. Do you know what I mean? Like, if we're doing this, we're doing this. I'm snap, Sarge! Bam through the floor with this exercise. It's going to be the noise he creates. That's my first blood, not me! That's my first blood! And the fact that he's not the fittest individual. I think it's the biggest giveaway. You're fucking stay of him. From here. I don't know what that means. That's it, away. Right, uh, I'm going to have to cut the video there. Uh, unfortunately, my camera died um, and I couldn't be asked to wait for it to reload, so I'm sorry. Um, is that the sort of people that you want in the army? I don't know. Is everyone going to be like that? Or is that just a stereotype? Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I don't think that the army's changed in, in the way that it operates. It's still a professional, um, hardcore force that's going to fuck anybody up. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think recruits are changing. I think recruitment process is changing. Um, everyone's different. Everyone believes in things differently and how they see things. I personally see that the army's still a professional fighting force and everything um but it is what it is you know um so smash in the comment section down below uh hashtag millennial if you want to shout out in the next video and uh thank you for watching thank you for supporting me we're just about to hit 8k let's get there and 1 million views which is fucking amazing so thank you very much everybody for watching and i'll see you all on the next one Bye. <laughs>